It's a compelling tale. In 1870, a group of explorers who were gathered around a campfire near the junction of the Firehole and Gibbon Rivers are so moved by what they've seen in the Yellowstone region that they propose preserving it as a national park. What a truly American story. In fact, it's such a great story that the Park Service used to share it all the way through the 1960s. The only problem, it's just not true. So, you know, there's kind of a myth that they sat around a campfire and they said, hey, let's preserve this as a national park and um, went on their merry way. Historian Lee Whittlesey reviewed 20 first-hand accounts left by members of that Washburn expedition into Yellowstone. Only four left diary entries for the night when the campfire story is supposed to have happened. None of them mentioned the discussion or the idea. In fact, it wasn't until 35 years later that Yellowstone Explorer and the park's first superintendent, Philetus Norris, described the campfire story attributing the idea to Cornelius Hedges. Now, that's not to say that Norris and others on the trip didn't embrace the idea of a national park that would eventually lead to creation of Yellowstone and this famous arch. It's just that the thought did not spring up around a nostalgic campfire in the center of Yellowstone. I think that they did have some discussions about what it would look like to maybe not leave this open to settlement, um, but it was kind of a over time over the following year um, that those men really kind of evolved their thinking about this. It took some time for the national park idea to bubble up. During the year after the expedition returned to Helena, more than 15 articles and letters appeared and not even mentioned the great idea expedition members supposedly pledged to champion as they sat around the campfire. But once the idea did surface and was promoted by Norris, Hedges, and the others, it raced through the national consciousness like a wildfire in the West. Less than two years later, in 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant signed the law creating the park. In Mammoth, at Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer, MTN News.